Hey guys, Kyle Devin here, employee in RV, Duluth, Minnesota. Today I got the opportunity to show you a 2023 uh, Thor Motor Coast, the Ace, the 29G. Uh, new colors, new features, so we'll get you on the outside, we'll show you inside, we'll see what you think. Wanna start right up front? This really nice one piece uh, windshield here. The last overhang on the front, give you a little more windshield. It's gonna be really nice. You can see the top is kind of tinted. Uh, you got some nice LED lights that are gonna run down front. You got this little carbon fiber kind of graphic down here that'll tie in down to the inside as well. We'll wrap here on the back side. You got your side mirrors uh, with the cameras right in here. This is on the new Ford V8 7.3 uh, liter engine. So it's gonna be a beast for you. You got side toppers on the unit already. Okay, good to go there. A lot of storage in here. Right up front, you're gonna see your propane. All these storage units are gonna be rotocast. So you got storage under here. I don't know if you can get up there and kind of see the light on the other side. It does pass through a little bit. Get that light on. We got a light in there too. What's nice in these rotocasts, they got a little drain plug. So if you're throwing your boots, gear, firewood, whatever you got going on, you gotta wash it out. We got a nice little drain in there for you too. Like I said, rotocast, really easy to clean. Kind of as you come, just come down the side, you'll see all your storage bins. They all got lights inside. It'll be really nice for you, whether you show up in early in the morning, late at night, something you need to grab, you got lights there for you. Got your water station in the back, dump station here, so you do have a hot and cold shower outside. Uh, you do got a macerator in your black tank as well, which is going to be really nice, help keep that really nice and clean. So with the black tank flush, when you add more water, really flush it out. It's going to be a really nice feature here for you. Otherwise, all your drain poles and everything are in here. And then this unit does come equipped with the 4000 Onan. That's going to run your whole rig for you. Around the back side, a couple really nice features is you got the ladder on board bring you up to the top and check your seals, check those slide toppers, make sure there's no debris, all your seals are good, that you're ready to go. Maintenance is a big thing with motorhomes or even travel trailers, so making sure you stay on top of it is gonna keep you out of the shop. Fuel tank is right in the back, which is kind of nice. So with those backup camera, that's up here, those side cameras, when you're pulling in to get fuel, you kind of just judge it. Instead of seeing where it is on the side and trying to stop perfectly, you just see the back of the rigs and the fuel unit, you're good to go. You can tow, so you're hooked up with the seven way, the towing, um, so you got that all set up for you on this rig as well. Come around the fun side, the camp side, again, you're gonna notice all the storage is going across the bottom, which sets you up with outdoor gas ports. You can create your own little outdoor kitchen if you'd like. Um, so you hook that up, bring a gas grill out here. Under the big awning, you can see all the LED lights, really light it up for you, kind of keep that lit up. And then under the awning as well, you get your really nice TV, 32-inch uh, TV outside, um, so you don't miss a game. You can have maybe two games going or whatever you got. Um, have a movie night under the stars, whatever you like. Um, up here too, we call it the pet window, but it actually is purpose of a safety window. Uh, but you know, if you travel with pets, this is where they're going to hang out and watch. But it is meant for the driver. Let's say there's a smaller car, a lower car, a motorcycle, something on the side here that they couldn't really see through this window. This is what this window is meant for, which is going to be really nice. All right, we'll bring it inside. Um, right as you're walking in, a couple cool features. You got a step light, so you can pop that on. You also got a small little storage drawer, so maybe throw a couple tools or something easy to grab that you might use. Um, pop those right in there. This is also where your generator starts gonna be. You got your solar controller down here, uh, your main battery control. Um, fire extinguishers are always right by the door. And then on the upside of that, you're gonna have your thermostat, um, water heater, putting your slide out, check your generator out or start, stop, check your tanks, see how full those are. they will be right there for you as well. And then again, right when you walk in, you're gonna have the key for the bed. So the bed is up, we'll kinda 
drop that down as we chat. So you do have a bed that will drop down for um, extra guests. That is going to hold 500 pounds. So two, two adults, you know, maybe three, four kids could pop up there and kind of hang out. A really nice spot to kind of see up above the cab. Um, you come with a little ladder to get up here, hook that in. Nice little spot up there. And again, it has this little netting around it, so nothing will fall off the back side of it. And then the kids are kind of jumping down, getting lost in all the components up front. So, really nice feature there. Sneak that back up. Uh, just to talk about sleeping. The dinette table is going to drop down to a sleeper. This couch over here is going to pull into a sleeper. So, maybe two, three, four, six people in here comfortably. If you did have a bigger crew or smaller kids, you'd probably fit a few more. Um, this does have this, out, this does have one tie-down tether strap for a car seat. Otherwise, you're going to have seat belts in the um, dinette area, and then over on the couch as well. Um, so you guys all be buckled in. These front seats will swivel around for you to make a really nice spot. You got power up under the table along with the wireless cell phone charger. So you pop that on, get your wireless cell phone charger, which is going to be really nice. Everybody's missing a cord or there's always one short cord. So to have that just stay there, it doesn't move, it doesn't get lost. It's always in the same place. Today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, that charger will always be there, which is, if you know, if you got kids, those chargers run away. Um, Nice TV, I'm gonna be right here as well for you, across from the seating. Uh, moving to the galley of the kitchen. Got a really nice Furion three burner cooktop with kind of like a built-in backsplash here. Decent size oven in this unit. Got some little night lights, nice little pots and pans drawer. Pulls out really smooth. Great spot for garbage can, extra storage under there. Get some more lights on in this rig here. Really nice countertop. This goes back really deep, so if you want to tuck a coffee pot back there, tuck a, you know, Instapot. Um, I'm all about the crock pots too and coffee pots, so. Big double dip basin uh, stainless steel sink with the drop down, just kind of brush your crumbs off into there. did fill this whole rig up with everybody you need a little more extension you got a little bit here to kind of bring in a little more counter space for you really nice pull out drawers and again here's going to be kind of like your pantry section so really nice deep pantry some nice smaller drawers for storage Sometimes when the drawers get too big, they just turn into one giant drunk drawer. So nice to have smaller drawers. Good size fridge and freezer. 10.2 cubic foot fridge freezer on this unit. This unit does have two ACs. So one in the main living, one back here in the bedroom. This ACE is also prepped for a washer dryer. So if you'd like, you can put a stackable washer dryer in this unit. Otherwise, you can use it for a really nice wardrobe space, extra storage here. Um, like I said, if you're bringing a bunch of people, those smaller washer and dryers are good for a couple little things, but you'll probably be, campsites have a lot of washer dryer systems, or if you're going to uh, the laundromat to kind of get it all done at once, this is just would be like a keep you going kind of thing. More nice deep storage back here as well. King size bed. It is going to be a, a fold in half mattress because when this slide comes in, this mattress does have to be folded up. Um, but it is a nice mattress. USB power on both sides. Also, kind of want to point out on the uh, balances, how they got the drop down guards here as well. So, what that's going to do is when you bring the shades down, now it's going to block the light coming in from this way but it'll block that side light. So that's gonna be all around in the bedroom. They're also out there in the main living space too. So that's gonna be really nice. So keep an eye on that when you're watching the video. Uh, push puck 
reading lights for each of you. Really nice overhead storage on here. And then a really nice big, if you were to put a washer dryer and think you're losing your wardrobe space, you got a really nice big wardrobe space, pull out drawers for t-shirts, socks, underwear, things like that. So you got the two sides on there, the one little side. So depends on who you're traveling with. One person might claim this, and if you're lucky, you get this side. This is where your ladder is going to live for the bed up front as well. And then into the bathroom. So in the bathroom, uh, you're going to have a porcelain stool, which is going to be really nice. Positioned in a way that you can actually sit on it. You can actually close the door. Don't feel crowded. Good space in here. Get into the shower. Enough space in the shower. For you folks that are taller, this has a really tall sky dome. So, I mean, you can really get six foot three, six foot four in here and kind of do your thing. Um, really, another nice feature is the shower miser. A lot of people, I think, are going to start moving to this. It's going to recycle your fresh water into the tank until it gets warm. This little blue pipe will switch colors, indicating that the water's warm. You can flip it back on so you're not wasting water going into your tanks. Give you a little more extended stay, kind of just as a smart idea to recycle that water. If you're just letting it go down the drain till it gets hot anyway, um, that's going to be a really nice feature. Also, they throw, let's see, let's see what gets you in there. So you got a little pet dish in the bathroom. So. It's a little bit out of the way, but I mean, if your dogs are like mine and they get water all over the place when they're drinking, I mean, it's already in the bathroom, so let's just keep the water all contained in one spot there. So I think that kind of covers a lot of the stuff. Um, Max air fan out here as well. That's gonna move a lot of air for you. You got ducted ACs, so. It's a really nice rig, really great for the family. Brand new, just got here, 2023 Thor Ace. Uh, please give me a call if you have any questions, 218-740-4964. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to get these out for you guys. Um, so if you like and subscribe, as soon as we post them, you guys will get them to notifications. So really help us build our channel. Let us know what you'd like to see in the next video so we can really kind of gear these to, towards you because we do these for you guys. They're informational videos. Um, so the more information we can get for you, um, the better. So yeah, again, my name is Kyle. Give us a call. Let us know how we can do to help. Have a great day.